What's up everyone, it is Bucky, welcome to your 30th Java tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to build a program where you can take array elements and store them as counters. Now we already built um, a little random number generator where we rolled a dice and we stored those numbers. But in this uh, program I'm going to make it a lot easier and show you guys how to do it with an array. So we're going to be building um, a dice, rolling it like a thousand times probably in storing how often each number pops up so of course we need a random number generator so let's go ahead and import java util random and now once we imported that we can use it so let's go ahead and put random uh, I'm gonna call my object rand and set it equal to new random and we don't need any parameters for that and now let's go ahead and make um, a frequency array so just name it freak or whatever not that kind of freak this kind and just set equal to new int 7 now if you're saying alright there's only six sides on a die why am I having seven elements in my array well we're creating seven elements because remember the indexes go from 0 to 6 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Since zeros include that seven elements. And we're going to have um, an array index of 0 and 1 to 6 that we aren't going to use. We aren't going to use 6. I mean, excuse me, we aren't going to use 0, but we need 1 to 6. So that's why we need seven elements, so we can get 1 to 6. If we only created 6, then it would go from 0 to 5. So now we can go ahead and make a for loop to roll the die a thousand times. So let's go ahead and put four and just put int roll equals one. We'll start at roll number one. And uh, let's put like roll. If you want to roll a thousand, just go put ahead and put a thousand. And of course, go ahead and increment it by one. And again, this just um, loops this a thousand times. So you should know that, but what I want to teach you guys is this. Any time that that roll pops up, actually, let me go ahead and write the line of code first, and then you can see exactly what's going on. Go ahead and take your frequency array, and go ahead, you want to add one to something. You want to go ahead and put your random number generator in this, and ours was named rand.nextInt. And, of course, we want, let's see, six. Now, let me show you guys what this does. This is the most important piece of code in this entire program. And let me break it down for me inside out. This is going to give you the numbers 0 through 5, as you should already know. What this 1 does is shift it all over so you get the numbers 1 to 6 instead of 0 through 5. So if you're saying, all right, what's this then? What this does is add 1 each time that this hits that number so for example um, frequency 1 2 3 4 5 6 are all set to 0 to begin with if this rolls and on the first roll it gets a 3 then freak 3 is going to equal 1 if it rolls again and it hits a 3 freak 3 is going to equal 2 if it hits again and again and again freak 3 is going to equal 4 5 and 6 and it's going to keep count of all of the indexes and every time that it hits that number it's gonna add one to the index so let me go ahead and um, well you'll see what this does so the first thing I'm gonna add is a header so you guys actually know what's going on uh, let's go ahead and print line and let's just print something like face the nat tab Frequency, I don't know if I spelled it right, but it'll do big. That'll do. Four. And the last thing we need to build is just something to output our data. So the only thing we have outputted right now is a header that says face frequency. Next, we want to make a table to show you guys face, here's frequency. So let's go ahead and again, we need to start at one. Or remember the first number on the dice is one so face equals one and face um, let's just have it less than freak dot length remember I showed you guys that in a couple tutorials ago 
and just increment it by one. And now what do I want to do in this loop? Remember, this loop's going to go one to six, and it's basically just going to make a, uh, excuse me, a table that has the list one to six. So I want to put system out print line, not print line. Can't get it. Print line. There we go. Finally. And let's go ahead and put face. Because that's going to be the first variable we want to output is just the face. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The next thing we want to output is just a tab to give some spaces. And then after that, we want to um, output the value of each array index. So put your array, name your array right there, and put your indexes right there. So let me um, run this program, make sure I don't have any errors and I'll show you guys what we got we got a table that says face and frequency and again we got that just by adding this face frequency and then we have your array index number and your array value index number value index number value and again if you're wondering alright I know right here we created array with seven and this equals six. Well, actually, your array index it starts at zero, but we just wanted output on the table one because we don't need zero for anything. We could have added zero right there, and when you ran it, it would give us this. It would give us six to one, and it would give us zero. But again, since um, this dice didn't doesn't have a zero, we didn't use it. So that's why. 0 equals 0. So now you can see um, the number 1 rolled 160 times, the number 2 rolled 158 times, and after rolling the dice a thousand times, here's the distribution of all that. So again, let me uh, talk to you guys one last time and show you guys exactly what we did. Imported a random number generator right here, you guys know how to do that. We made an array called frequency and we set it equal to seven elements in that array. What we did right here was make a random number generator to roll the numbers zero through five and we moved that over so it rolled one to six. Anytime it rolled one of those numbers, it took and added one to that index or that value in that array. Next we just made a header right here and right here what we did is we just made a basic table. We started it from zero which we actually started at one but I just showed you guys. We went all the way to six and this just made uh, one to six and then we just outputted the value. So again we outputted the dice number which was the index number and the value. So that is how you create a basic um, using elements and storing them as counters in an array. So it's kind of confusing, but just play around with it, and trust me, you'll get the hang of it. So thank you guys for watching my 30th Java tutorial. Um, there's going to be a lot more to come, so keep an eye out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to check out all my latest contests. So again, thank you, and hopefully I'll see you next tutorial.